Question for Dr. Ali. Are you girls referring patients to SFOT as needed for further extension capability? And if so, do you find a certain range of extension that can be further achieved with SFOT? We are really only doing SFOT in our adult patients. So when, and don't worry, we'll be talking about the adult patients at some point, but SFOT is generally, if a patient comes to us and they don't have, they don't report symptoms related to nasal resistance, let's say, but they need some kind of expansion, uh, we might then be talking about SFOT for their upper and lower arches. If they do have nasal resistance and they need expansion, because it, most of the time they do, then we'll talk about an expander on the upper, but it, it, SFOT on the lower to coordinate with the upper. I was talking about how the bone is our biological limit and we don't want to expand beyond that. When a lot of these patients are already, they're older, they're, they're an adult, they already have some recession or they've got, there's crowding, there's, there's just malocclusion that's been there for a long time. They've been doing, they've been compensating, they've had compensations for a long time. In order to do our expansion on the lower without worsening their periodontal health, we'll ask them to get SFOT on the lower while we're expanding on the upper with, with, a, with an expander.